you have a problem with Dre's comments on KD and Nurkic? No, zero. Um, I completely support Draymond Green on this. Um, I want to be delicate here because <clears throat> Kevin Durant means no harm. He's a good brother. He's a great teammate. He don't talk about nobody. He don't talk about them behind their back. He don't leak stuff. He don't do any of that. That's not who he is. Kevin Durant does not roll like that. So let me be very, very clear. I am not accusing Kevin Durant of doing anything intentional to degrade, denigrate, or harm Draymond in any way. But at some point in time, you have to realize what you do. If you remember, Molly, I'm okay. sitting right next to you, right here on this set, Eminem, doggy. Y'all weren't there that day. And Nurkic had said what he said about Draymond, which was understandable because he's the one that got hit. But then when Kevin Durant was asked, he started talking about getting him the help that he needs. And I instantly had a problem with that. As a black man, we have a big time problem. One of the reasons that I love, I use you as an example, so you have a right to know this. Mad Dog Russo, the one thing no one will accuse you of is being timid. The other thing no one will accuse you of is being soft-spoken. <laughs> you are a vibrant communicator. You project big time. It's beautiful. You Mad Dog Russo, your Hall of Fame, you deserve everything that you've received. And they love it. For years, I was called Screaming A. And it held me back because I raised my voice. I credit Mike Lupica, I credit you, I credit others who throughout the years have highlighted how when a black man is showing passion, he must be angry. When a white person is showing passion, it's passion. And so knowing that, Kevin Durant with Mr. Mr. 35 Ventures, his business acumen, some of the things that he's achieved in this world and he will continue to achieve more, he knows about projecting he knows about reputation. He knows how those things could serve to sully you. So when you speak about Draymond in the way that he did, although I don't believe he had malice intent at all, it was surprising to me that he didn't pick up how that would serve to further stigmatize Draymond Green, even though Draymond brought that on himself with his actions. And so when Nurkic was saying what he said, you know, to help and something's wrong with him, et cetera, et cetera, I'm like, damn, that's a contemporary in the league. Y'all know how this is going to affect him. And then when Dr Kevin Durant, who had his issues with Draymond when they were teammates before they resolved it, once they became Olympic teammates and they sat down at Draymond's podcast and they had all of these conversations and they did, had their kumbaya moment and everything seemed cool, you thought it would end from there. Now, Nurkic is, Draymond, is Kevin Durant's teammate now, not Draymond. And you saw what happened, so I get where you're coming from. But what Draymond was saying when he reacted the way that he reacted was that speaking the way that y'all speak, y'all don't have any idea how this is going to affect me? You know it ain't going to help me. You know it's only going to serve to hurt me. You know it's going to further feed into the stigma that I've, I've inflicted upon myself, but your damn show ain't helping me right now. And I think that's the reaction that you saw from Draymond right there. It was, if it came from me, if it came from you, if it came from you, it would be different. But coming from a former teammate, you know, I think it hit him differently. And I think that's why you saw the reaction that you saw. Yeah, I think that's a fair answer. Uh, I think the average fan, though, right now with Draymond would like to see him just go out. He's been in a lot of trouble, self-inflicted, soft suspension by the commissioner. I think a lot of fans would say, you know what? You won the ball game. You're playing better. How about laying low here? How about taking the high road and not even commenting on what Durant says or Nurkic says or anything else? Leave it alone. Just go out there and play basketball. Play, he played very well the other night. When he had 15 points, nine, mm -hmm. nine assists, he played a great game. Mm -hmm. Great a performance. Double, seven rebounds. Yeah, played really played a great game. And they Went won. after Nurkic. Mm -hmm. and he had, Showed that he had some offense. Mm -hmm. yeah, they did. And, you know, obviously Curry makes a shot to beat. That was a great game. A lot of enthusiasm. How about letting it lay low a little bit? You know, we all, he's, we all know that Draymond's got a lot to say, but how about right now you won the game, teams won five, six, was it six in a row? Five, six wow. in a row. How about right now we take a little step back not make this a major cause celeb and just go out there and let the play on the court do the talking for you for the next couple of months. 
Is that fair to ask as a sports fan that maybe I don't have to have a little fight now between Durant and Draymond Green? It gets a little much every single time. Somebody said something, they take it the wrong way, they got to say something back, and I, it drives you crazy. How about everybody just be friends and play basketball? I'm not cool with it, and I don't think Draymond is cool with it. Um, but I want to be clear. I think that you're absolutely right. I don't think Kevin Durant had any, any malice intention. intent we at agree. all. I'm certainly not saying that about Kevin Durant. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that Kevin Durant is so highly intelligent. He's so smart, and he's so accomplished. And when he speaks, you have no choice but to listen because you can't dismiss words that come out of Kevin Durant's mouth. If you're Draymond Green and you're hearing Kevin Durant saying, I hope he gets the help that he needs. Now, we know that for years, okay, we've all had to grow as a society. Mental health issues has become a very, very big deal and what have you. We understand we're not poo-pooing it. We're not dismissing the significance of it. However, it was dismissed for a very long time. Agreed. And from a societal perspective, mm -hmm. although we've embraced it now more so than we ever have before, it still doesn't negate the sting that you feel when you're hearing about that help that you may need from a contemporary, particularly if you haven't gotten to that point where you're as receptive as you need to be gotcha. about feeling the need to have help or to mm -hmm. get help. Mm -hmm. And so as a result of it, if I'm Draymond Green, I could look on national television and I could say it's Stephen A, it's Mad Dog Russo, it's Eminem, it's Wendy, it's anybody else. And they're saying that, well, they ain't in this locker room with me. They didn't wear the same uniform as me. The personal relationship that I have with folks, they may not have with me. So there may be a level of understanding that they're not having, and they're just speaking from afar based on what we've seen, what I've put on display for them. I get that. But somebody with more intimate knowledge of who I am, all that I've gone through, all that I've endured, et cetera, et cetera, as a former teammate of mine who was my teammate for three years, we went to three finals together. We went back-to-back -to -back NBA championships together. We had our issues with one another from time to time, particularly the last year where he said where it was clear that he was looking to move on and we had some friction thereafter before we resolved matters. To now come back and this happens and to hear from you, Okay, I hope he gets the help. So, Why would Draymond me, say what he said? He said what he said because he's saying, what did he say, Eminem? He said, people he thought, are not taking into account how this affects your reputation, was, your character, and your money. But, Stephen A., when you don't want somebody to have comments based on something that could Im impact your reputation, your character, and your money, you don't act. You don't give them the action. Well, My thing is, and, and perhaps... I'm not, I'm not condoning Draymond. I got you. Right, but okay. his, so perhaps the timeline is maybe where we begin to waffle. But essentially, when he got suspended, the Warriors organization acknowledged that he needed some support. Right. And so now, because of the timeline, it is still not, it yeah, is no longer yeah, yeah. true? But you got to remember, no, 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 it's not about truth. Because I didn't say that, I didn't say that Kevin Durant said anything That's false. That's what I'm saying. So What I'm me. saying is, and that night, at the press conference, okay. when it happened, okay. were the words, you know, if you know anything about Draymond, he held on to it. That's what he heard. Of course. And, and, and you know that he, what he took from Joe Lacob, what he took from Mike Dunleavy Jr., what he took from Steve Kerr, what he took from Seth Curry, what he took from Klay Thompson is entirely different than what he's going to take from Kevin Durant in that moment. Okay. So the Draymond Green that just spoke mm -hmm. is the Draymond Green that's reacting to what Kevin Durant said weeks ago. Copy. Weeks ago. <laughs> and, that, and that's what, and I'm saying, that's what stings. So him responding to that, I understand it. I got you. But, and now, so I'm saying to you, to counterpoint, the issue is with the messenger and not the message Correct. because we heard the message from Correct. the organization. Correct. Correct. Which is cool. But that's what which he's is, saying. Right. And which is why I chalk this all up to some trash talk right. at the end of the day. Okay. It ain't trash talk. Not with that. It's not trash talk with that. Uh, I'm just uh, telling you. Trash talk with some substance behind it. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. it's a little Supportive bit supportive substance. It's it's it's. Jamon is hurt that Durant got on him. Is that what this comes down Basically, to? Basically, he feels betrayed by Durant. Betrayed. He didn't notice it. He might have he might have said cowardly and Nurkic. You know, he ain't worried about that guy. He don't know that dude that well. That ain't it. But he's feeling a little different about. I haven't spoken to him about it, but I believe that's what he's feeling.
Just leave it alone and play. I agree. He got, uh, why, he got why a podcast. Bring it up? It's not going to be left alone. That, that is the Draymond we have come to Pod, love. And podcast. Okay. He wants to give you some good information. Yeah, he wants to have left some alone. content. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to sell the podcast. Listen, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of good in the conversation wants, besides he, this he little He wants back to forth. sell a podcast. That's fine, good, and dandy. But that doesn't mean that's like somebody sitting up there and saying, well, Doggy is just doing this because he's doing his radio show. No, I think he means it. Really, He means it. I think so. I'm not disputing that. mean it. That's what I'm saying. He means it. No, I'm not. I just wouldn't have brought it up. I right. think he is hurt. Okay, okay, okay. I just wouldn't I have. I got to get in a commercial break. You do? Okay. <laughs> I do.